Now, going out with your family or with a group of friends is one of the joys that we've had to give up for a long time. So now, with restrictions lifting, lovers of dim sum can fill a large table once again. Well, Chef Ken Lee is in charge of dim sum at Mott 32 on Georgia Street. Ken, hello there. Hello, Gloria. So can you show us what you've got laid in front of you there? What are your signature dim sum specialties? Oh, today uh, I've been serving like three items uh, of signature dim sum. Yeah, the first one uh, is uh, the black pork dumpling. Inside, try some uh, pepper chili to make some spicy. Top, the topping is XO sauce. Uh, and the second one is the lobster hagao. Yeah, we all use the Australian lobster tail inside. And then the level, uh, little bit pipe is like inside is, uh, you can add some spicy. Inside, uh, I just put in the chili and lobster oil. Uh, and the third one is the hot and sour soup dumpling. Yeah, that is the, my favorite one. They are yeah, all use... gorgeous, and I'm sure they taste as good as they look as well. How long does it take to put one of these together? I mean, especially the lobster. I mean, I can see you're putting the extra chili oil in there at the end, but how much work goes into this? Oh, we just uh, working like uh, every, every day like fresh. Is it a whole team of people who are making those delicious little pockets? Yeah, we just uh, only like two dim sum chefs so making uh, the whole thing. Uh, we have the uh, steam cook. Yeah. Ken, why don't why don't you just take us through what uh, step by step? What what are you doing there? Oh, I just like uh, just like uh, that is the wrapping. I did a little bit flour, like doing the little piece. First, yeah, I always use the hand cutting. Yeah, exactly everyone's like the same size. Uh, and then I uh, come with a folding. Mm. It's for the stuffing. We always uh, use like maybe 18 to 24 to finish the thing. Okay. Oh, look at that. You're pulling up the lips around it. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that gives it's us a whole new appreciation for, for what goes in there. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, and, after and that, then... uh, we just go in the steam five minutes, and then that is the finishing product. I see, and you've got the steamer on behind you there in the kitchen. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Good. Our mouths are watering. Now, Ken, this is the, yeah. the moment where everything comes to fruition. Take us through what happens there in the steamer. Uh, uh, pardon me? Just describe what's there for us. Oh, the steamer, it's got uh, any single theme item, I can be always a good steam. Let's look at what's in those delicious little baskets. Oh, um, yeah, it's the hot and sour stem of them. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Ken, thank you very much.